<laughs> I'm your mother from another brother. <laughs> Hi, I'm from Vogue magazine and I'm here to ask you 73 questions. Hey, how's it going, man? It's going pretty good, I guess. So, let's just jump into it. Mm, all right. At what age did you first know that you were gay? <laughs> Wait, hold the phone. I'm not gay, all right? I'm not in the man folk. Okay, why would I be into the man folk? I'm a man. I know everything there is to know about being a man, okay? I'm into the lady folk. <laughs> Hell yes. Now, another thing you must know about me is I like to puff on cigars, okay? This is a cigar. I don't like to puff on dick. This is not a dick. Um, so what you're saying is that you hate gay people? I don't hate gay people, man. All right, dude, all I was saying is that I just don't like dick. Well, me thinks thou doth protest too much. What? Anyhow, who would you like to make out with? Blake Lively or Anna Kendrick? First you asked me at what age did I know that I was gay. Now you're asking me if I'm into these two foxy ladies from Hollywood? Damn, you're a confused fella over there. <laughs> I'll answer your question. I think if I had to choose, on first thought, I would go for Blake Lively, okay? Because I'm a lively guy. But on second thought, I think if we was in a perfect world, I would go for Blake Lively and Anna Kendrick at the same time. Because I'm just that kind of guy. Well, that's a fair answer, I guess. <laughs> you bet. <laughs> Cats or dogs? Dogs. A man needs his best friend, and I'm a man, and I need my best friend, so dogs. Pancakes or waffles? Waffles. It's a little hobby of mine. I like to fill in those little squares, you know, with the... The syrup and all that, you know, get a little butter in there. <laughs> Some good stuff. Hot dogs or burgers? Hot dogs, because I'm a hot dog. Why do you have long hair? <sighs> women like to touch it. And I like it when women touch me. Have you ever met Bernie Sanders? No. I'm not entirely sure that I would really like him that much. I mean, you know, he's all into this socialism stuff. And, uh, you know, I'm just not a very social guy, so I don't think we jive too well. Really? Because you seem like a really social guy to me. Shut up! Uh, okay. Um, would you ever run for president? Now, there's a question. <laughs> Thought about this a couple times, to be honest with you. And I'm not entirely sure I'd ever run, but... If I did run, I'd run on the campaign slogan, Denim for All. Well, <laughs> seems like a good slogan to me. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on the Supreme Court nomination battle? Ain't no man safe. What's your favorite color? Dude, look at me. What am I wearing? Denim? I'm a blue motherfucker. Hey everybody, what's up Vogue Magazine? I'm here with my son, Danny. Say hello to uh, Vogue Magazine. This is, your, this is your big moment. Hello. <laughs> That's right. He said hello. Do you hear that? <laughs> yeah. All right, you know, uh, uh, well, I've been raised here my whole life. This is my daddy. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We, uh, we related. Oh, we on camera. Yeah, we on camera. Good for you. He, he's kind of a slow learner, but he's a good guy. Anyways. You can not. Okay. You can do your questions. Thanks, Dee Dee. Um, how long have you been a denim person? Oh man, I came out of the womb looking like this. Wore everything like this. Um, why is bathing so important? Danny, you want to take this one? It's not. Uh, I didn't raise him too well. Uh, okay, I we can see. Um, have you ever starred in an adult film? Oh, no, man. I, uh, I've never done it personally, but I was offered a part. I, it was actually, no, it was going to be a home movie about me. 
Uh, I turned it down though, because you know, I don't want Danny to see that kind of stuff about his father. You know, it's going to be a little traumatizing. But uh, I can tell you what the, the name of the film was or what it was going to be. All right? It was going to be called Denim on Denim. Denim? On Denim. Nice. The pants? Um, what is your opinion on the word fanny? Isn't that the word that gay people use for ass? Sure is, Dad. Uh, okay, um, are you, That's the good. denim dude, a bisexual? We've been over this, man. Would you ever consider the opportunity if it arose? <clears throat> are you a flosser? I'm a man. What do you think about thigh-high socks? Well, you know, dude, for a long time I was like, dude, that's, that's, not, that's not cool, especially for dudes. But then, you know, I started learning about our first president, George Washington. He wore those things all the time. I mean, that, you know, if that guy can wear those long, you know, high thigh, high socks or whatever they is called, dude, any man should wear those. That's a manly man right there, so I, I approve. Well, not where I was going with the thigh high socks, but he was, whatever. He was a man. Um, favorite yeah. historical figure? George Washington. Oh, okay. Have you ever killed a man in a duel using black powder weapons? Many, many, many times. Danny can do it. He can attest to all of that. He's seen so many people die right in front of him. It's just unreal. I had a brother. And he had a sister. I... He don't have a brother or a sister no more. I had sure. a sister? A veritable Andrew Jackson. We, we can't too. go over this while Vogue magazine is looking at us, okay? I guess, favorite Johnny Cash song? Hurt! Cause I'm gonna make you hurt! Ain't that right? That's right. <laughs> mm. We, uh, I raised you on this lawn, didn't I? You know, we, we threw some football all the time. I don't remember no football. <laughs> That's weird. All right, let me keep this on track. Um, but when do the cows come home? When do you go home? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a great joke. You really I got, got me you. with yeah, that. I did. Um, um, Danny. He so, got you. Who's your favorite YouTuber? Boy, the ass smells are real nice. Come on, answer the it's question. Oh, it's PewDiePie. Why? Because. Bitch lasagna. Bitch lasagna. This series ain't nothing but a bitch lasagna. Bitch lasagna. Bitch lasagna. Look at these series, they just crying for their mama. Mm. Here we are, we're gonna shoot some bow and arrow, man. I found the toothpick. Alright, I don't want you to get shot, okay? So you're gonna follow me, Danny. You're gonna follow me back here. Okay. Okay. Look at this spider web. I bet you there's ants in it. Now my depth perception's been a little off since I, you know, lost my right eye, but I think I can. He uses my eyes to shoot with. Yep. All right. You might, you don't want to get this. Folk Magazine's gonna want this. This is an action shot. Oh, here we go. Mm. All right, a little up, and then. Oh, oh, that was a good. That one. wasn't bad. That was good. That was a good one. <laughs> All right. Pretty good. Okay, let's let's keep this rolling. Okay. I'm gonna get you... the arrow. Da just just disregard him. All right. Are you a fan of? Are you a fan of the Gilmore Girls? No, dude, I ain't a fan of killing more girls. There's too many of them dropping dead all the time. What's wrong with you? Um, Are you shooting? What's the first country outside of the U.S. that you ever visited? Alabama. Oh, that was fun, Dad. Um, I like okay. that trip. Okay. Mm -hmm. How was it? That it was, was fun. It was fun. It you was just fun. heard me. Um, do you know Kung Fu? I know Kung Fu. Show me. Have you ever met God? Dude, I know the man upstairs and I know the man downstairs, okay? So, yeah, I know God. Who makes your pants? So, God. Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, well that's interesting. Mm. Um, Doing okay over there? Yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm alright. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. Have you ever met Dr. Phil or been on his show? No, but uh, man, that guy's helped me so much without even helping me. It's, it's unreal. He does great work. <laughs> he does, dude. What sort of problems? 
Yeah, well, my problems uh, that I have that I would like to uh, tell Dr. Phil is uh, I've got, you know, I've got a dark side. And I don't want to talk about the dark side, but I got one. Why are you so defensive? I'm not defensive, man. I'm just saying I got problems. I don't want to tell you the problems. Why are you, why are you trying to get my business, okay? <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the name of the game here. Um, are you a virgin? Until I meet the one, my hot dog don't need no bun. <laughs> All right. Um, do you remember the first time you ever ate a donut? Well, that would be when I lost my virginity. Hey, man, I gotta go pick up something from a friend. My friend Randy, he's at a trailer park. You want you want to come with? Yeah, I mean, sure. It's my job, so. All right, man. You're gonna have yourself a good time, no doubt. Mm. Randy is a cool cat. <laughs> mm. Woo! Let's get up in my pal Randy's crib. He's got a nice place. He's a nice man. Cleans up pretty nice for a special occasion sometimes. Most of the time he's pretty chill. He's my best friend, and he's got everything I want in life. Mm. Don't be shy. Well, double D. What's up, Randy? How you been doing? Fine, yourself? <laughs> I've been doing more than fine. What can I do you for today? Uh, well, today is a very special day. You know, you know what day it is? <laughs> It's Dozen Donut Denim Do Dad Friday. Is that what you heard? Yeah. What do you got for me? Well, I got, as requested, some prime silver for you. What kind? Well, I got that from the annals of Kilimanjaro. So, you know, some good stuff right there. Well, I'll get you taken yeah, care of. Yeah, you're gonna give me what I want. <laughs> You got some of that extra stuff in it too, right? A little bit of white snow. A little of this, a little of that. Little of this, a little of that, you know. <laughs> it don't get better than this now. <laughs> it's a killer mystery, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> it's what I wanted! <laughs> Alright man, you can ask your questions. Alright, thanks then, dude. So, what is your favorite movie? How to Train Your Dragon. Why? Because it taught me how to train my dragon. <laughs> Where's your dragon? It's nearby. It's nearby. Are we still talking about dragons here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, how do you know Randy? Well, that's a long story. I'll try and make it. Oh. Um. <laughs> it has something to do with that, for All sure. Right. Um. We was at a casino. I was down on my luck. Not making any money. I was losing money. Okay, I was a loser that night. And then I met this, you know, this tall, dra this tall glass of water here. And he was like, hey, dude, I can give you some good luck. He started handing me these donuts. All of a sudden, I started winning. I was like, what's in these donuts? And he's like, oh, everything you need in life. <laughs> and so that's how I met him, man. I mean, we, we've, been, we've been going strong for a long time. He's a good dude, and, uh, you know, he's got the stuff. Um, all right. Does Randy know how to read? The hell you ain't seen you waiting. Yeah. What, what, what you trying to say, man? I, I don't know. Who, who asked these questions? And it's just what we do for everybody. You're going to come into my trailer park home. Um, uh, next question. Right. So, is Randy a Nazi? Look, well, listen well, here, boy. You done. Um, you done. Okay, you know, I'm going to get up. Get up I'm going to go. You pissed off the wrong guy. Randy, Randy, don't, don't do nothing, Randy. I'm Randy. Don't worry. He's from California. You don't know where he's from. Okay, come Oh, dear God. Man, what the hell was that? 
Uh, you know, I don't, it's nothing. I, who, who, who asked your questions, man? The, the viewers, mostly, I mean. <laughs> man, you got a weird audience, man. A weird audience. Tell you what. You're messing up my friendship. Donuts. Um, so I guess I'll just continue with the questions. Yeah, whatever, man. Um, so how much cocaine did you have when you were arrested in 05? <laughs> huh. I plead the fifth, okay? Um, uh, would you agree that all questions are fair to ask? No, no. Um, this is supposed to be a question about fun stuff, not about my dark side. Well, what does your dark side look like? <sighs> I am not going to show you my dark side, okay? It's dark. Um, how much human flesh have you consumed in grams? Hell, man, you got a weird dark side, dude. <laughs> what the hell? Um, Jack the Ripper over here. I guess, uh, you know, are, are you related to Lee Harvey Oswald? As I said before, I plead the fifth. I'm not gonna self-acclimate. Uh, all right, denim dude. So, tell me, what is the loneliest number? One. Why? Because, you know, <laughs> it's all alone. <laughs> When will we be freed from the torture that is this existence? You okay, man? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Um, sure. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? Or is it for revenge? Are your viewers okay? I have no idea. They just send in questions. These, so. well, these some I mean, weird I questions. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, is there a denim do debt? There's always a denim do debt. <laughs> Okay. What is the sexiest girl you've ever dated? Oh! Best question you ask all the time, man. I'll tell you, I have to take you way back, all right? 1977. I was with this beautiful broad. I mean, she was cool. She had light skin. She had a couple bruises, scratches, some scars and stuff like that. But man, she caressed me like no other. She put her arms around me. It was like heaven, I'll tell you. And you know, I got, I got my baby here. You know, she's my new new, new baby. And uh, you know, she's great and whatnot. But I gotta tell you, you know, sometimes I do find myself missing my original bait. There's just something, something real sexy and exciting about those damaged chicks, you know? I mean, yeah. with this girl, I, I don't do any of that naughty stuff I used to do with the original. But, you know. I kind of miss it. I gotta tell you. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you though. You know, I'm I'm cool. I, I don't want to make her feel so mm, bad. You yeah. know, this this baby. She's great. I mean, she puts her arm around me. It's great. But I'll tell you. Uh, you know, we don't do that naughty stuff. It was a bad thing back then, uh, and it'd probably be a bad thing now. Uh, but I'll I'll say this. Me and this girl, we all about comfort and cuddling. All right, Wrangler jeans. Comfort and cuddling. Now. Do you know? Hey, 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 hey! Well, I gotta finish what I was oh, saying. I'm sorry. Right? I'll let me Comfort and cuddling. You gotta know this, all right? Every man in the country, they gotta know about this, all right? Lee jeans. That's where the sex comes in. Well, Denim dude, thank you for that piece of wisdom right there. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, do you know where the original babe is? Like, do you ever just want to like slide back in? You know, see how she's doing. You know, I, I do sometimes think about her. But... Man, she wasn't going nowhere. She's probably on, she's probably caressing some bad douchebag, and you know, I ain't a bad douchebag, you know? Yeah. I, so I, I don't know where she is. All right, well, let's get to the real questions. Are you an alien? You know, dude, that is a good question. You know, sometimes I do wonder, you know, am I even of this world? I mean, yeah. ain't nobody like me out there. <laughs> what planet do you think you came from? Definitely Pluto. Why? I just think we get along. Are you aware that Pluto is not considered a planet? Dude, that's messed up, right? 
Why do you love donuts so much? Same reason everybody loves donuts. They taste good. Have you ever given someone a donut without their consent? Hell yes, haven't you? Wait. We got talking about donuts here, right? Are we really, though? Well, I am. <laughs> Why are you sometimes referred to as Sergeant Salt and Pepper? Because I'm Sergeant Salt and Pepper! Yeah, but... What does that mean? It means that salt and pepper runs through my veins. When I bleed out, you get salt and pepper. Are you comfortable with this nickname? Hell yes. Why? Because... Why do you smoke cigars? Why don't you smoke cigars? I've never really thought about it. Hmm. What is your favorite cigar? The Judge, because I'm going to judge your ass. Have you ever attempted to contact spirits in order to gain supernatural powers? Many times. What did you learn? I learned that in life, the only thing that really matters is your family and your friends. Your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your girlfriend, your guy friend, whatever. That's what matters in life. Your relationships with people. People, it doesn't matter how rich they are, how famous they are, they, they ain't nothing without family and friends. They gonna be sad people. So what I learned is that life is family and family is life. That's some real insight there. Thank you, Denim Dude. Yeah. Have you ever considered becoming a vegan? I ain't into diseases, man. So, have you ever met Carter the Brown? What kind of question is that? Let me tell you something about Carter the Brown. He's stupid. First of all, he's dumb. That's the same thing. And he's a bad person. Let me tell you a little thing or two about that guy. Me and me and his history, all right? That man is a cheater. He's a scandalous whore, all right? He does everything he wants. He just wants attention, okay? And he doesn't care about his friends. I'm his friend. I was supposed to be his friend. And he don't treat me well. He don't even talk to me anymore. He just set me loose. I was saying, hey man, I want to be a part of your family. And I was just saying just a second ago, family's the only thing that's important. And he doesn't care about family at all. No family, no friends, no nothing. He ain't nothing. That's who Carter Brown is. Me and all my pals. I mean, you know Frankie James, dude. Freaking hero boy, he drove that guy crazy. He's in prison, man. Also, Jesus. He, he, he sent Jesus to hell, man. The guy's a crazy, crazy cookie, man. I don't like him. He don't like me. I don't really care nothing about him. But, but you know, I'll tell you one thing. One more thing, all right? He ain't going nowhere in life. He's a loser. He's always going to be a loser. You know why? Why? Because when he gets on that pedestal, that, 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 that high, high, high place that he wants to get in life, He's gonna fall, cause pride goes before destruction, the heart of spirit before a fall. That's from the Bible, bitch. I mean, look, dude, I'm a guy, man. I'm a guy, and you ask a question, have you ever met Carter the Brown? Of course I've met Carter the Brown. Everybody's met Carter the Brown. Don't mean I like him. You knew this was gonna piss me off. You just want Vogue magazine to get all these ratings and shit, man. You just want views. <laughs> I tell you, man, you was a piece of shit just like Carter Brown. If I ever saw you in a, in a, in a dark alley, I'd beat your ass. Man, I ain't, I ain't got nothing to say to you. Except for, I would love for you to just get out of here, Mr. Bitch. Just go, man. Go, go. Wait, wait. Yo, seriously, you need to leave. You need to leave. Oh my god. Uh -oh. I, I guess this has been Moog Magazine 73 questions.
I guess this is just what happens when you drop your son on his head too many times as a baby. He grows up and becomes the coolest of all cool cats. And then, he turns into a great big white murdering gorilla. still be friends, man. We back in business.